You're in for a real treat. I'm here at NOW, and we're going to be meeting Katie, the Method Development Supervisor in their Quality Control Department, to give us an inside look of all the quality testing they do. So I know that NOW is an industry leader when it comes to supplement testing for quality, purity, safety. So can you take me through some of the testing that goes into a NOW supplement? Absolutely. We are a high throughput laboratory with just about 4,000 analytical tests a month, which is a lot. We have a designated group of analysts that come in every day, get their assignment, prepare their samples here in this laboratory, and then test them by a designated technique. Those tests can cover vitamin C determination, vitamin B determination, so on and so forth to make sure that what's on the label is actually in the bottle. That's the key. What's on the label is in the bottle. So this is where the samples are prepped. Can you take me to the next lab to see the next step? Absolutely. Let's go. We're in the TLC lab where we evaluate the identity of our botanical powders. Since majority of our raw ingredients are powders, either extracts or dry powders, we want to make sure that the identity of that powder is matte. So we employ techniques such as thin layer chromatography to look at the fingerprint of the botanical. We separate those components on a plate and then compare those lines to a botanical reference material to ensure that the powder meets specifications if it comes to identity. Perfect, so that's really ensuring as the first step that what it says it is, it is. Correct. Okay, next lab, let's go. So another lab, more fancy instruments. What are you testing here? This is an ICP lab, the only lab in our facility that tests for heavy metal contaminations and mineral content of our products. We ensure that our uh, raw ingredients uh, are not contaminated with heavy metals, so we look at arsenic, lead, cadmium, and mercury contamination, but we also want to make sure that our finished products uh, meet label claims, let's say for calcium or magnesium. Okay, so some of the things you're looking for in this room you don't want in the product, but some of the things you're looking for you do want. Correct. Very nice. Another lab? Yes. Okay. All right, another lab. Uh, I can hear the instruments working. What goes on in here? So we talked about sample preparation. This is the lab where all the samples that are prepared in the previous lab are analyzed. So an analyst comes in with a set of samples and sets them up per the standard operating procedure utilizing one of these instruments. We have a wide array of instruments covering high pressure liquid chromatograms attached to different detection techniques, as well as mass spectrometers to look at those ultra low level of analytes and contaminants. I see, so it's not like every supplement goes through the same testing. Every supplement has its own sort of strategy of how it needs to be tested, what it needs to be tested for. Correct, wow. every supplement is treated individually. Okay, so once we have all of this analysis in here, is that where it ends? No, there's so, so much more. So what are you testing in this lab? So we covered the potency testing to make sure that's what's on the label is actually in the bottle. In this particular lab, we ensure safety of our raw ingredients and finished products. We look for contaminants. And what kind of contaminants are we talking? Let's say pesticides or glyphosate. We test for about 500 residues across two platforms, LC mass spectrometer and GC mass, spe mass spectrometer, to ensure that there is no contamination. Uh, we look at the most commonly used pesticides in the food uh, industry, as well as the ones that are prohibited from use. And if you see any of those contaminants, that's out. All right. All right. On to the next lab. Let's go. We're coming up to the microbiology lab. Uh, so let me tell you what's going on in here. Okay. We are one of the few uh, companies in the industry that actually has a microbiology lab in-house. We test for uh, E. coli, salmonella, yeast, and mold in-house. But beyond that, we have a rival printer which allows us to identify the strains of the probiotics that we use in our formulation. Hot topic. That is a hot topic. I mean, everybody's talking about probiotics. And you actually have the ability in-house to determine what strain probiotics. That is correct. That is amazing. 